Hello again everyone from Tokyo, Japan and welcome back to Japan Vintage Camera where today we're going to be having a look at one of Minolta's most popular rangefinder cameras of all time and that is the Minolta Hi-Matic 7S. If you're interested in purchasing this Minolta camera or another vintage Japanese camera, I sell these in my Etsy and eBay stores. Uh, please check the description below the video for links to my stores. Uh, the Hi-Matic 7S was uh, part of a long evolution of Hi-Matic cameras. Uh, several Hi-Matic cameras were made over the years, but the 7S turned out to be the most popular one. Uh, Countless examples of these cameras were, are, uh, can be seen here in Japan and around the world. They were popular because they were just an excellent camera with a, a wide number of features which made them suitable for uh, all kinds of shooters. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the features and functions and how to use uh, the Minolta Hi-Matic 7S. And we'll start at the top of the camera. On the side here we have the film rewind knob. Uh, in the middle we have the flash shoe. And in the case of the Hi-Matic cameras, these usually have, or pretty much always have, a hot shoe for the flash. So you can use a modern flash simply by just sliding it on. And uh, the contact here will uh, operate the flash inside the camera. If you're using an older flash or flash gun, uh, there is a flash sink socket on the side of the lens housing. Moving over from the flash shoe, we have the shutter release button, which accepts a standard cable release. And we have the uh, film winding and shutter cocking lever. And next to that, we have the film counter window. The most important uh, functions of the camera are located on the lens housing. I will start at the front uh, and looking at the lens itself, which is a Rokor 45mm f1.8 lens, which is an excellent lens. It's very sharp, it has really good contrast, and it was used in other models other than the uh, 7S. Uh, people really loved the lens and the results it was capable of getting. Uh, and on top here you have the uh, meter window. Uh, for the uh, light meter, which is built into the camera. It's convenient to have it located here because if you use filters, then it automatically compensates for the filter once it's on the camera. On the lens barrel itself, we have the controls. We have two rings. Uh, the first ring is the shutter speed ring, which goes from the A setting for automatic and B for bulb, and then runs from uh, one quarter second up to one five hundredth of a second. Behind that we have the uh, aperture control ring, which uh, varies from f1.8 to f22. Uh, uh, the Minolta Hi-Matic 7S features a very simple and easy to use EV scale system. If you want to set your exposures manually using the built-in meter, to use this, you look through the uh, finder, viewfinder of the camera, and on the right side of the viewfinder is a numbered scale. And as you uh, compose on a subject, the, me the meter needle will select a number on the scale. And what you can do is you can select the number by turning the dials until it's visible in this window. And you can maintain this number, the same EV number, using uh, a different combination of, the uh, same combination but different locations for the aperture and shutter speed. So if you want to adjust a, a wide aperture for the wide aperture effects, all you have to do is uh, turn the lens to the right and it will choose uh, the shutter speed automatically uh, to give the best results for that aperture. Or if you want more depth of field, you would turn uh, the two rings the other way. And this would give you more depth of field and the camera would choose a slower shutter speed. If you're new to photography or you don't want to fumble or fool around with uh, this system, just set both rings to A and all you have to do is just focus and shoot the camera. It does everything else itself automatically. <clears throat> On the bottom here we have the tab which operates the uh, focusing system. On the bottom of the camera <clears throat> we have a release button for the, uh, to rewind the film, tripod socket which is a standard one quarter inch size, and we have the battery cap. Uh, the Minolta uh, Hi-Matic 7S was designed to use an MR9 battery, but you can use a 1.5 volt uh, uh, 625 battery or a wine cell battery to operate the meter, and either one will give you adequate results. Uh, to load the film, uh, there is a latch on the top uh, left side of the camera, if you're holding the camera facing away from you. Push up on the tap and uh, the film door is easy to open. 
Set your film spool here on the left hand side and pull the film across the film chamber and feed the end of it into the take up spool. Uh, wind the shutter and make sure that the film engages, the notches in the film engage the teeth on the take up spool here or winding spool. And then uh, close the door and you're ready to go. Uh, this camera automatically resets the film counter to zero so uh, wind uh, the lever and fire the shutter till you get to number one and you're ready to shoot. Taking a look at the front of the camera, uh, this is the viewfinder window and the rangefinder window and this is surrounded for with a kind of a matte glass which allows light to uh, go onto the rangefinder mask. Uh, the middle to high Matic 7S features parallax correction which allows you to accurately uh, compose on uh, your subject and as you uh, as the parallax uh, position moves you'll naturally move the camera to the appropriate position to make sure that your subject is centered uh, on the film. Anyway, uh, that's it for my review or overlook of the Minolta uh, Hymatic 7S. Um, if you have any questions about this camera or other cameras, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please like it. And I'll be uh, putting up uh, more videos uh, shortly. So if you're interested in seeing them, please subscribe. And we look forward to having you watch again. Uh, thanks a lot.